Oh no! It's the blue screen of death. It's the worst thing that could possibly happen to your Windows PC. Or is it? Calm down. Chris here with Simply Nuck, and I'm gonna walk you through what you need to do if you get a blue screen of death. Let's get started. So what causes the blue screen of death? The blue screen of death shows up anytime something makes your Windows operating system not run safely. That can be incompatible drivers, software issues, a new app that you installed that's incompatible, or hardware issues. There's also some other problems, but we won't get into that today. So let's talk about your options with those big three. So the first thing that's gonna happen is Windows is gonna scan your system and try to resolve the issue itself. A lot of times this will fix the problem. If it doesn't, your first option is to roll back some drivers to see if maybe you can find out which one was incompatible. Your second option is to use System Restore. What this is gonna do is take your computer back to a restore point and roll back any major changes that were made recently. Now, if you don't have a recent restore point, it might undo a lot of the work you have, so please proceed with caution. Your third option is to run system tests on some of your hardware. We've included links in the description below to help you with that, things like a memory test or to check the temperature of your PC. What this will do is help you determine whether you have faulty RAM or see if your computer is possibly overheating. Any of these things can cause a blue screen of death. Your final option is to do a clean install of Windows, but proceed with caution because this is going to completely wipe your system and delete everything that you had on your PC. If none of these options have worked for you, feel free to reach out to our support department by scanning this QR code on the screen right now. Thank you again for choosing Simply Nuck.